Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of the Mark Burr, brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is hump day. It's uh, Wednesday, February 7th. Uh, we got kind of, well, none of these days really are quiet these days, but we have no economic news release to schedule for today. But we'll jump over to the headline news. Stock market is a bit mixed. The only one that is down currently is the uh, NASDAQ. Uh, you know, pretty much they were down this morning, but the Dow has rebounded. The Dow was actually down around 100, and then since it was rebounded, um, and then it even took off a little bit further, so up about right about 170 so far this morning. Uh, part of it is a couple of different things. We have uh, some Fed speakers speaking this week. Uh, Trout, uh, Evans, uh, Fed member Evans, he is a non voting party and known to be Dovish, but he did basically came in and said that. Uh, Yes, we had some inflationary numbers that came in a little bit higher, but it, it's not necessarily the inflation that's going to affect consumers, uh, which is trying to relate off the um, pressures of where the stock market is. He didn't really give knowledge to the stock market, but he was easing some concerns about inflation that it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to jack up the rates as a result of this. And partly is because this inflation uh, that we're seeing isn't necessarily, again, being passed on to the consumers. Uh, so that's a bit of good news and hopefully a little bit of relief. So the stock market is uh, somewhat taken costly or costly optimistic about it or is moving a little bit more positive as a result of it. Uh, also on the docket, we had a treasury uh, auction. It didn't go so well to gather C minus. So on the stock market, it didn't really affect so much, but we'll see how it affects the bond market as we can see. We were up about 14 basis points earlier this morning, which is good, but unfortunately when that came out with the uh, you know, with the Treasury uh, auction, that was a bit of a disappointment. It dropped all the way down. To, now we're down about 14 base points lower than where we left off yesterday. So uh, so there was a price change for the worse, so meaning that prices are worse, have uh, lenders came back and reprice uh, for with worse, worse pricing than we saw earlier this morning uh, as a result of that. So again, uh, it's kind of where we start, but this is kind of what we're seeing. We're seeing a lot of volatility. This, a lot of it has to do with concerns of inflation and uh, the Fed's reaction to inflation potentially raising, uh, being more aggressive with the uh, rate hikes on there. And of course, you know, the yields, even though they're at about 2.8, almost 3%, uh, still wasn't enough to gather a more uh, positive result in the auction. So it wasn't still enough appetite there. So that so rates are a little bit higher today, and as you can see here, uh, yields have climbed up even further. We're up above, uh, we're up to about 2.8. 283, I think it was, uh, two, around 283, 282 uh, so far right now, and that's up about six basis points so far from where we left off yesterday, uh, so far the day. All right, so that pretty much wraps things up. Uh, if you guys want to get more data, just come over to it. I am uh, posting stuff on Twitter here. You can find me underneath my handle at Mike Bjork. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.